Alright, what's going on guys? Just so uh, before the video actually starts, I wanna tell you guys something. The audio dirt oh. My god, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for ruining my fucking outro, bitch. Alright. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. So before the video actually starts, I just wanna say something. Uh, my voice during the car show. Alright, uh, so before the video actually starts, I just want to let you guys know something. Uh, during the car show, the background noise is actually like pretty loud, so you guys can barely, not barely, but you guys could hear my voice, but not to like the full extent. Um, I'm still, I believe that you can still understand what I'm trying to say, so I just want to let you guys know uh, before the video actually starts. So uh, other than that, uh, let's get back to the video. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is the day before me and my friend Mugi, who is another car enthusiast YouTuber, uh, are gonna go. It's the day before we go to the Chicago Auto Show, which is happening tomorrow, starting tomorrow. Uh, we plan on going there, seeing some nice cars, record some footage, and talk about the new cars that are being released in the car industry. It's gonna be cool, and I'm just gonna. I'm making this little video to let you guys know. So, okay, so we're gonna skip to the actual uh, car show in uh, five seconds. Come down, you know what you don't come down. Five, four. Uh, three, two, one. Alright, good morning everybody. It's the next day and me and my friend Moogie are heading to the Chicago Auto Show right now. Uh, we're gonna stop by get some coffee real quick because I am tired as shit. I'm gonna do a little like quick, you know, kind of like montage on the way to Chicago. As you can see, it's a, it's an all right day in Chicago. What the flip? It's an all right day in Chicago. Uh, not too bad. Um, but anyways, I uh, hope you guys en do enjoy this little montage, and I'll see you guys at the car show. So we're in the McCormick building now. Uh, I tried recording like a few minutes ago and that, uh, <laughs> uh what happened? <laughs> Mike wasn't on. Mike wasn't on. <laughs> yeah, I gotta remember that shit. <laughs> yeah, we are lazy people, so we're gonna take the escalator. Yeah. Alright, now we're on the bridge of the McCormick place. We're actually going to the Chicago Auto Show. We're walking towards it. Wait, are we lost? Are we lost? No, I think we're lost. <laughs> now, right behind me is the new redesigned Chevrolet Tahoe and the Suburban. Uh, it completely revamped the body, whole new body. The front end of the Suburban and Tahoe is supposed to resemble the Silverado, but the rear of it has a unique look to it. It has the same size as the previous generation Tahoe's and Suburban, but you can see the futuristic look of it. So in the videos, it, I mean not in videos, in the pictures, it said that the Suburban and Tahoe will have a quad exhaust system. Uh, but I guess for the, not like the premieres, but like the lower end type of Suburban, they don't have that quad exhaust system. They have that single exhaust that's tucked under the rear bumper. Which again, I like, I like the, uh, I like the hiding exhaust better on the Tahoe. It keeps it more, uh, you know, sleek and more like luxurious rather than the quad exhaust. Also, see the taillights. Again, I have to get used to them. I can see, I can see the design of it. I can see how they like thought it'd be okay. I have to get used to it. But right now, the concept of it is not like fitting. You know what I'm saying? But like this is close off. Too small for the truck. It is. I, I, I like the older taillights. But as you can see, this is the quad exhaust version. The interior of it, as you can see, it has the, the not the bigger and the more like the revamped touchscreen display, the full payment system. But the thing that pisses me off about the new suburbs that they had, they went to buns instead of the lever to change. Oh the my gear. god, I forgot to talk that about makes that. That's so true. that pisses me off. That's the only thing I don't like about the newer suburbs. Everything, I mean, and the taillight, but everything else, they look nice. But man, like they just went towards the Ford route, and I think that everybody loved the fact that they could buy a brand new SUV nowadays and get that little like the the lever. Like, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. There's not that much. Okay, yeah, there's no companies on the head the side. Uh, care. Yeah, for, uh, except if you buy like a fucking 3500 Duramax or like. You can get, yeah, like, yeah, I mean you can have that. Yeah, but like, but like even the Silverados, newer, the newer Silverados are coming out. Yeah. They have the buttons now, which is actually I don't like that. Anyways, that's the uh, that's the brand new Suburban. And that is nice. So this is a CT5B, which is this has the black engine, uh, engine in it, which is a 3.0 twin turbo V6 with 360 horsepower around that. 
Uh, but this is the black wing, but that's the 4.2 liter right there, the gray one, which is a uh, twin turbo V8, which has, I think, around 500, maybe high 400s, below 500 horsepower, which is actually pretty good. But this is absolutely beautiful right here. I like the new body, the concept of it, the new body of it. It looks sleek, and it looks, it looks professionally made. Honestly, it's probably one of the best uh, CTS or the V series that a Cadillac released uh, by far. And uh, we'll just see what else they're going to release. They might release a LT4, a 6.2 V8. We don't know yet. But so far, the only engine that they have that, that's a V8 is the 4.2 twin turbo. So we'll see what's popping later on. All right, she didn't say there wasn't. She didn't say there was. We don't know, but maybe an LT4 comes soon. We don't know. I tell you now, if this had the LT4, the 6.2 supercharged, this will be probably one of the most uh, best selling cars out there, right. especially for and, car people. And the main all wheel drive. All wheel drive? They're going to make that is, okay, that's gonna get two that, options. That's overkill. That's oh, crazy. I'm not going to be surprised if this does smoke the Hellcat. Because if you get the Hellcat wide body. No, but the LT4, the, it's 650 horsepower tops. That's the thing. It's yeah, all wheel drive. Know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's all wheel drive and it's lighter because this is a full aluminum body. But what do you call it? If you go for Dodge, if you go for Dodge Charger Hellcat, they still use steel, bro. <laughs> they don't use yeah, the that's aluminum. why they're boats. I think this one, because it's so much lighter, is definitely going to be a better car. Man, I hope they put the LT4. All right, so this is the RCF GT3. That's basically the race version of the actual RCS. This has a uh, 5.4 liter V8 with almost 500 plus horsepower. And honestly, this is one of the nicest looking race, uh, race cars I've ever seen in my life. Nice looking sports car. What do you think this way? What was this used for? You think I'm pretty sure it's been in the Nurby ring, right? 100%. It's 100%. Yeah, it's been in the Nurby ring before. But this like just looks neat. Oh, for sure. But dude, this is one of the nicest Lexuses out there, like race wise. See, you got the side, the side exit exhaust, which is actually nice. All right, so this is the 50th anniversary Challenger scab pack. As you can see, uh, a few different things on it. You got the whole uh, new rims for it. Beefy, beefy wheels. These are some beefy ass wheels. You also you got this kind of. But what color would you say this is? Like a light. This is like. Bro, this, you know what this color is like? It's like the Mercedes Jewish yellow. You know the Jewish yellow? I like the color. It's like, it looks weird. It's different. It's different. It's different. It's unique. So, this is a prototype Supra. It's the. I, I forget the name of it, but it's a six cylinder turbocharged that is producing what says 750 plus horsepower. But that's out of a six cylinder turbo. That is. That's, that's pretty good. That, that's insane. Just look at it. It's like full, it's fully built to you know, handle the track and everything like that. You've got the, the rims, kind of the wide body kit on it as well. Uh, again, you can see it's a concept vehicle. It's not yet made, but we'll see uh, when it comes out hopefully in the future. Now, this is another concept Supra. Uh, this, the lead, the lead build it, uh, builder is uh, Marty Schwerter. Forgive me if I uh, butchered that name. And by Motorsports Technical Center, MTC. This is a concept Supra. Again, like the other one over there, but this is a bit slower. It's not that slow, it's crazy. But yeah. this has 500 plus horsepower. Same thing out of a six cylinder twin scroll single turbocharger. And just look at it, it got HRE performance rims on it as well. I like I like, the, I like that red. I like the red. I, I like how it shines. But the rims is what brings it out. What do you think they are? 20s? Uh, 19s? 19s? I'd say, no, I'd say, I'd say, what? 2019. It's probably different size. Yeah, because that looks way bigger than that one. But the inside, you got the you got the diamond stitching around that diamond stitching. Uh, again, and bucket seats as well. It's an automatic. You got carbon fiber trim everywhere in the Personally. interior. But um, you got yeah, that's the active. Active fence. Yeah, active fence. So that's Personally, cool. like both people, seriously, I'd rather have this build over that one just because I like the. I like how this has that little like old super heritage. Like look at the look at the spoiler. It looks exactly like the old. Look at the diffuser too. That diffuser. And look look at look at the tail lights. They like very marked. Oh, it it's like the old super. Yeah. It got the, the dual exhaust. Dual there. exhaust from the middle. I like that. That diffuser is aggressive. I like I that. I like that. One. See, but that one that one's like that one I'd say is really meant for a car show. This is probably meant for just like this is like a daily. I would say daily. It's a nice you know, subtle car. Like Alright, so for right now, uh, we're gonna take a break, go grab some food because we're both hungry as uh, shit. We're gonna try some deep dish pizza from Connie's. I've never tried it. He said it. He said, you tried it before? Yeah, it's he said it's decent, so we'll try it out. Alright, so this is the all new uh, Corvette C8, this, the eighth generation, you can basically say. Um, the mid engine, it's a 6.2 naturally aspirated 
GPA. Uh, 495 horsepower around that. Uh, but it's an LT2, so it's a revamp motor. It's such a decent. Uh, you got the, you got what, the carbon ceramic brakes? And then you also, I, I like the tail lights. I used to hate them. The tail lights are actually decent. It's like seeing cars in person. It's like, it changes your whole view on a car. And seeing them on pictures. Yeah, once you see in the person, everything changes. Like, honestly, I didn't like the whole mid, uh, mid ending concept of it, but like, that was kind of building. It's a decent car. It's a decent car, especially for the price. It had the supercar look. That's what I understand. Like, honestly, you should have kept that American. But, I mean, it's all good. I still like, I mean, like, it's building on me. You know what I'm saying? It's building on me. I like the blue. The blue is actually nice. Like, I swore on this car. Like, I like the blue. But, honestly, they should have, like, put it on, like, display, like, where we can actually, like, open the door and see it. But yeah, that's the uh, 2024 version. All right, before we... <laughs> what is Look, this? Look, this is big what, what are you doing, man? We're leaving, I'm about to end the video, and this guy just literally parks in the middle of it. Oh my god. What are you, <laughs> what are you doing? What is it? Who is this? You parked here. All right, so just like that, uh, we're done with the auto show. I got a lot of footage. I hope that the footage that I uh, recorded is like, you know, you guys like it and everything like that. If you guys want more footage of something that you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments. If you want to get more aviation stuff, let me know down in the comments as well. I'm happy to work more on aviation. I'm happy to work more on cars. Just let me know in the comments. Other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. See you. Oh my God.